Hi, welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson. Fred Lowry and Nicole Burton explain this summer's Hilton Head Island Gator football and cheer and how kids and parents can be involved. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Glad for to having have us. you. Absolutely. So, talk a little bit about Gator football and cheer. Okay, um, I'll start off. Gator football and cheer is a program that started approximately 50 years ago. Wow. Um, and it's been in this community ever since. And it's in hopes to get kids off the streets to give them an activity to do. It builds leadership, sportsmanship, and even try to teach them a little work ethic, if you will, with mm -hmm. the practices that we have. We uh, participate along with nine other teams in the Low Country Football League. Mm -hmm. And we travel as far away as Allendale in one direction and Walter Burl in another. And uh, when does the season run? The season begins for football, I believe it's July 31st. Yes. Okay. Um, us cheerleaders, we start on Thursday, August 3rd. Um, and I think Fred forgot to mention the age groups for the kids are between 5 and 12. Okay. Um, and it's their age as of November 1st. As this year. of November mm -hmm. 1st. Okay. And so um, where do the teams play throughout the season? We practice at Barker Field down in the Bagall neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have our home games at Hilton Head High School Stadium. Alrighty. As far as our away games, we'll go to Bluffton, Hardyville, Estill, Ridgeland, Allendale, Hampton, Beaufort, Ladies Island, and Colleton County, which is the Walter Burl area. But not all in one season. It yeah. kind of rotates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How, how long does the season run? Um, the season goes from July 31st all the way through the middle of November. Okay. Um, this so, year. So football season. Yes. 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 And this is primarily for kids that maybe aren't on their uh, high school team. They could be, they could, I mean, this is for the younger kids, right? right? right. Oh, okay. Yeah, this so, is the... Gotcha. Okay, so you're, you're implementing this for the, the kids that wouldn't normally be on a, on a different football team. Uh, right. Absolutely. Right. This is what we would consider a... Um, like an entry like level. A, yes. Entry level or yeah. lead into playing either JV or high school football and cheer. Yeah. Understood, and this way they they learn those um, those protocols, yeah. and just Absolutely. like you said, mm -hmm. some of the habits and and, and ethics that right. go along with sports and right. the skills right. and everything, so that they can continue on in that sport. And so, how about registration? Well, registration is going on right now. We actually opened registration back in February, and we will continue until for football. It will continue until August. 31st and cheer, mm -hmm. I think their cutoff is a little earlier. Yeah, that. our cutoff is August 15th just because with cheerleading, all right. the girls are participating at all time. Okay. Um, so if we get girls a little bit later than that, it's a little difficult um, and can throw us off a little bit. So yeah, our cutoff is August 15th. And so are you also looking for volunteers? Yes, we're looking for parents to volunteer and that could be at home games. They could volunteer as coaches or working at concession stands. Um, this year, the boys football were, is hosting the um, league championship game, okay. and the cheerleading squad were hosting the year and um, cheer competition. So we're definitely going to need volunteers to help us run those. How about some of the, um, I should say, the older kids? Can you ever use any of the older kids? Absolutely. Last season, we had high school, both players mm -hmm. and cheerleaders. Yeah. come and help out respectively and I look to have that again this season. And can they get community um, community yeah, service, service hours, hours yes. for yes, that as well? Yep. Okay, because that's, yeah. that's a big deal. Yeah, it is a it big is. deal. <laughs> a lot yeah, of times they find things, they have to find ways to get those community service hours yes. and what a wonderful way we're, to do it. Yeah, we're more than happy to do that for them since they are going to help with their time. So. so if people have questions on how to get in touch with you, how, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, they should contact me at the Hilton Head Island Recreation yeah. Association. Okay. Phone number 681-7273, or they can email me, okay. fred.lowry at islandreccenter.org. And we'll have yeah. both those on the screen yes. for you, Fred. Okay. Yes, and or they can check out the website, which is islandreccenter.org. And that information will be on there as well. Yeah. Can they yes. sign up through the website? Yes. yes. 
because sometimes that's the easiest way. People mm -hmm. love the internet so they can Google it and, and get on there and sign up. Yes, they can yes. register online. Um, we also do offer scholarships you know, for Absolutely. parents who Thank may you. be going through a difficult time. I don't know if Hurricane Matthew might still be impacting anyone. Yeah. Um, but if it, it is, is. Yeah. and they still want their children to participate, we definitely have scholarships available at the Rec Center. Wonderful. Great information. Thank you very much. We will have everything on the screen. Perfect. And uh, thanks Thank for you. joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.